Hey, there's a move underway to legalize the use of medical marijuana in our state. Fourteen states have already done it, but one Oklahoma woman tells us when she tried to talk about the issue with her state senator, she ended up face to face with a number of law enforcement officers. New Channel 4's Marika Lorraine has her story from our mobile newsroom. I know everybody thinks that the baby boomers are all just a bunch of aging hippies that want to get high. It's not like that. 12 to 15 pills a day. That's life for 46-year-old Denise Stahl. I've been diagnosed with chronic hepatitis C, post-traumatic stress disorder, arthritis, and asthma. Denise recently made a trip to the state capitol to discuss legalizing medical marijuana with her state senator. She wanted to show him legislation drafted by a pro-medical marijuana group called Oklahoma Compassionate Care Campaign. I feel very much like I was ambushed when I went in there. Waiting for her on that day, the senator and a team of law enforcement officials. I didn't mean to ambush her. I don't feel like she was, but um, if she does and felt that way, then I apologize for that. Republican Cliff Aldridge says he simply didn't know enough about the issue and invited some experts to join the talk. I've heard the same story repeated over and over. One of those experts was Mark Woodward from the Oklahoma Bureau of Narcotics. It does tend to be a gateway drug for many people. It opens a door and puts them on a path that often leads to other places. He says the issue of legalizing marijuana for medical use sends the wrong message that pot is okay, and the senator agrees. I said it's just not something that I think is good for the state as a whole. But Denise says Oklahoma's laws are keeping her and others in pain from getting the help they need. We don't advocate it for everyone, only for medical use. I just want to be able to have the same quality of life as everyone else. Thank you, Marika. Now, Denise is not on her own. There is an organized group in Oklahoma dedicated to trying to change the state law so that doctors wouldn't be allowed to prescribe medical marijuana. And tonight,